you think that was funny? A failed attempt at humor? Sorry, let me try that again. Did you think that was funny? A failed attempt at humor? Well, it wasn't. Let me show you what I mean. I think that take went better. Here is a picture of what you would have made had you put $100 into any one of these coins in January 1st, 2017 and sold it January 1st, 2018. As you would probably guess, the results are sad, extremely sad. Some of the biggest ones, the biggest one, Rayblox. But who knew? Maybe some. <laughs> Bitcoin gold <laughs> with $58 you profit. Even big ones. Ethereum, $34,000. NEM, $35,000. Stellar, $20,000. NEO, $55,000. From $100. Maybe you missed out. Maybe you didn't. But uh, it's an interesting question poised by the thread that it came from, which is how many of you were close to quitting in December 2017? And how many of you would have regretted that decision? Or maybe you have and you don't regret it at all. I don't know. Uh, either way, I hope you are enjoying yourself. Excuse me. It's a random sock. One last thing before the altcoin news that I thought was entirely humorsome. A Bitcoin spotlight was spotted on the Swiss National Bank. The hero we don't deserve. The real life bat logo if I've ever seen one. All right, moving on into the markets, we have been quite steady at 410, 424, 30 billion for the last week or so. About as stable as it gets, I'd say, even though I suppose for uh, stocks that would look absolutely mental. EOS has seemingly calmed down from its rampant run, might pick up again at some point, might correct from here, or might stay stable. 20 is the new. 50 cents. Tron, however, is still having a good run, almost day after day gains for the last seven days in a row. Looking at coins more specifically, Omize Go has acknowledged recent criticisms that its roadmap is just kind of bad. Not that it's bad, but it hasn't kept pace with the way Omize Go has been evolving and it's really dated and they're now just announced that they are going to update that. Bytum's interesting because it is at a almost all time high which many coins aren't, many coins still aren't at their all-time highs from toward the end of last year. Bytum, not like that. They have just released a user manual for mainnet wallet and mining. The reason that this is, is at all relevant is it's the first time one of these has been released. So, rather important. Bitcoin Private is up next. They have surprise announced their 2018 roadmap. Spoiler, it's not that interesting. Although it isn't bad, it's certainly not bad. So they have Ledger Nano S support coming. Maybe you can't see that. Let me move that back. Uh, that's uh, in April Q2. They have the one click miner coming out. Q3, they are initiating the soft fork for full SegWit support and the Lightning Network to be initiated around the same time and merchant gateway integration. And it's really small to see that. While it may not be the real Bitcoin, I'm sure some people do think it is, they are busy working and I wouldn't count them out. Lastly, we're going to take a look at Loop Ring and what the hype is around it recently, although still almost half of what it peaked at very briefly, but still doing extraordinarily well for the last month or two. So there will be an airdrop there. I'm going to airdrop two new coins to holders of Loop Ring LRC. I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible. You hold LRC, let's say you hold 100 LRC, there will be a token drop of LRN tokens. So this is loop ring on NEO, and then a token drop of LRQ, which is loop ring on QTAM. So for example, if you hold 100 LRC, you are apparently going to get 6 LRN and 6 LRQ. Confusing, I know, I'm going to leave this down below in case you want more details about loop ring being on NEO and QTAM. T Food, had not heard about it before today, but jumps on the news that there's been a strategic partnership with Nongshim, Nong, Nongshim blockchain-based food traceability solution. There's, there's so many of these, but it is the future. There will be some one coin or some one company that does it, but there's, there's so much competition in the sector. But it's one of the things that blockchain is really good at. So, And according to T-Food, they are the world's largest farm-to-table food traceability solution there is. So there you go.
I really never know how to end these episodes. Nice.